My name is Giovanni Vai, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 4 Parent Lottery My parents are my biggest inspirations in life. They taught me and made me who I am now. Without them, I don't know who I would be. These were my parents when they were younger. My parents grew up in Guadalajara, Mexico, and since then, they have moved over here to America. My parents moved here hoping for a better life, and which they did get one when they came here. Later on, having a family of seven. My mom and my dad are the best parents someone can ask for. They are always there to provide and to help people when they are in need. My parents are the biggest roles in my life because they are always pushing me to be the best I can be and someday hope that I can be big in the future when I grow up. Overall, my parents are caring, loving, and thankful for everything they have in their life. And I'm thankful for having them in my life. After all, they've taught me everything I know right now. They grew up not having much in their life and someday hope that their kids can have everything they want in their life and they have made that become true. My parents are always hardworking every day to make sure that their family has a good life in the future. I have enjoyed and will keep on enjoying every single moment I have with them, despite of everything. Chapter 7 I never made it to the NFL My friends, parents, and people that I know always encourage me to be the best that I can be and do good with everything that I do. Whenever I'm down and I'm in need, they always come by and lift me up and tell me that I can do anything I put my mind to. And all I have to do is work hard and one day I'll achieve it. I was always supported by my peers with every decision I made and was told it is best to have someone along you as you go through these times. Another thing is that things happen for a reason and it is sometimes best to look back and see what you did wrong so you can later on learn and improve from your mistakes. Chapter 24, A Recovering Jerk In middle school, I had this one teacher that stood out to me, and she believed that I can do whatever it is that I wanted to do. She saw that I was lacking in English because I wasn't good at it, until one day, she told me to stay after class and talk to me about it. She said that I can improve, but all I have to do is pay attention and do everything that I was required maybe even a little bit more effort. Two years passed and she saw that I improved a lot and she told me she was proud of me and that to never give up and do what I wanted. As well as doing good in English, I was also doing very good in school overall. I was passing all my classes and everyone saw that I put an effort and my time into what I was doing. This feedback is what I needed to hear and overall helped me accomplish things in school. I was told to work hard and to have fun with anything that I was doing as long as I enjoyed it. Chapter 28, Dream Big. After making it past middle school, and I am where I am right now in high school, I have dreams about having a good job and having a good life. Something I wanted to be when I was younger was a lawyer. I wanted to be a lawyer because they looked cool to me when I was young. 
and I made the decision to take law class next year because it is a career class and hope that I can become a lawyer when I grow up. Another thing I wanted to be when I was younger was an archaeologist because I saw people dig up fossils and things. It was also because I watched Jurassic Park a lot when I was little. There will be a lot of opportunities in the future, but till now I have to make good decisions and let life lead me to them. Chapter 53 Never Give Up Though many times it seems impossible, it is never right to give up. You should never give up because you never know what will happen if you let go of the opportunity. My family and friends are the reason I've never given up. They're always there for me, and I always try to make them happy with the things I do. You'll never know what will happen next if you just let go. All you have to do is keep doing what you do and trust the process, because one day it will come to you. I'll never give up, and I'll keep striding what I have to do to get what I want. I hope that it comes to me one day.